Hello, everyone. Let me introduce you our pro group project. The project of our group is online cross selection system. Here is our group member, and here is the previous team members. They complete the basic framework of the project and some basic function. So, why we chose online cross selection system as our project subject? Because of the advance of the computer age and the rapid development of the network, computers are everywhere. Walking through the network can greatly improve virus work efficiency. So for our school, it is imperative to have a good cross selection system. So in our project, is to develop the student cross selection system, which relies the network, information, and the modernization of cross selection. As for the purpose of our project, we want that the system can provide a friendly user interface to minimize the workload of the operators. And the system has good operation efficiency and can improve the management purpose. What's more, the system should have good expensibility and it can be easily added to other system applications. The design of the platform is advanced and flexible to adapt to the changes of information management. Through these projects, we can train the team, improve the team's development ability and the project management ability. As the end user of this software is the school's educational administration teacher, they do not know this system as so well, and they will be busy and may not have time for later training. Based on this, we think that the interface design should be simple and clear, which can bring convenience to teachers and students, and also improve the efficiency of the educational administration office. So, here is the interface requirements of our projects. The page content should have a prominent scene, responsible layout of clones and menus, rich content, accurate tests, uniform and standardized format. As for the navigation structure, it should have the clear navigation instructions, which can easy to understand and easy for users to use. As for the artist's style, the interface, the layout image is fresh and pleasing to the eyes. The layout is responsible. The front size is suitable and the front selection is appropriate. The movement effect is good. The color is harmonious, constant with the scene. Then, let's next team member to show you what we have done in this project. Well, here's Jack, and uh, I will introduce the second part of our group project, the Rails project. So here is the code. We divide the, we divide the user into three parts. All the users can change and reset the passwords. The first part is the administrator. If the user is logged in as an administrator, Administrator can edit all the information in the system, such as course students and the teachers' information. The administrator can add new information of them and and edit the current information of them. The second part is the student. The student can the system will show the students the course, and the student can choose or drop the course in the system. The third part is the teachers. Teachers can, te the system will show the teachers the course and the current grade of the course. And the teachers can also mark the grade for the students. So let's see the demo. Uh, take the administrator as example. 
we I log in as the administrator. In the left side, the administrator can change, can choose which part to edit, or reset the password, or change the password. The last button exists is to exist this system. For example, I chose the student manage it. So, in the right side, the administrator can search a certain student's information by click search and add a new. Add a new information, student information by click it. The the administrator can change the student information by click change. For example, we change the first student information by click change. It will jump to another interface. In this in this interface, the administrator can change the student information. Click reset will reset the information and click submit will save the change. The administrator can also delete the student information by click delete. For example, we click this delete. This the last information will be delete. Then click the teacher management. The administrator can also change the teacher's information. As just like the student's management, the administrator can search for a certain teacher's information by click search and add a new teacher's information by click add. And uh, the administrator can see the ID, name, gender, birth, education, and uh, the enrollment date department of the teachers. So that is the previous project. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Gary here. So I will do a quick, I will introduce the third part of our presentation that is the current project. Um, so I will introduce how we are doing and what we have done at a certain state. Okay, so first of all, I will have a quick demo. So I will let you through with how our project is uh, presenting now. So you can see that that's the source code of our project. That's the code of our project. The public save a lot of, you know, maybe like the image, you know, the other things as source. And in source, we have the component first. Each component is uh, representing a single HTML page and it will handle each you know, request from the user, from the client. Uh, for example, this is handling the contact, this is handling the dish detail, and this one is favorite. Uh, the framework is using the React framework. Okay, so after about those components, we go into the Firebase. Firebase is a backend server framework. We use the Firebase. Okay, and the Redux is also part of the Firebase. It's another, um, you can say it's a framework to uh, help the front end communicate with the back end. Okay, so, and that's, the rest of them is just uh, some, uh, some files come with the frameworks. So let's start this project. So you type young start. So, the project will be handled and start. So make sure you have a VPN because the Firebase need a VPN to connect to the database. So you can see that it directly link us to your Chrome or whatever, your browser and start a new tab. Yeah, it may take some time. Yeah, so the, the project show now. So you can see that, oh, let's turn this so you can see that that's our project. Uh, we have a header component, which have a nav, nav bar that have several, you know, buttons you can click on to lead you to some place you might interest in. And also we have a jumbotron here, uh, which have a picture of a bird and also about King University and a quick description of that. So 
uh, in the middle of the HTML page, that's the most important thing. You have a register button, arrange button to arrange your courses, and also a button to see your professor's information. And uh, at the very bottom of the HTML is the button part. It just show some you know button to lead you to, as also the nav bars function can do to you, and also some information about King University, some button leads you to the Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, you know, about King University. So let's refresh this page in order to show that, you know, those images, you know, get from the backend servers. So let's go to the register first. So when you go to register first, you can see that there's four demo classes. Um, we can separate the Chinese class and English class very easily. Just look at the image, you can see. So we combine the two systems together. So you don't need to go to another website to choose your Chinese course. You can choose your Chinese course and English course all in this one system. So yeah, but it, so let's log in first because if you want to register, you have to log in. So I'll create a demo email like user rent gmail. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's possible. Uh, and you also can log in with Google, uh, but I will not uh, log in with my Google. Let's just show uh, this demo account. So I have type login. So there you go. You can see that there's a Yeah, so you can see we already logged in here. I don't know what's going on. Maybe something, the server ran wrong. You can see your email was showing up on the right corner. So maybe I go to these courses. So if I want to add these courses, I just simply type this like button. So later you will be adding to your favorite course, classes, adding to your cart. So I also can submit uh, comments. Maybe I finish this course, I go here and I rate it maybe like five, I comment. Uh, I also type some comment like uh, test comment. Okay, and I like So you can see that uh, the comment I write will show here down below. So maybe uh, when I go to other class, I can see other people's comments. So I decide whether I will register, you know, these courses by these professors. I will, you know, think twice. Maybe when the rating is not so good, when the course has a low rating and the comments that the teachers uh, strict or a lot of homework. I mean, I might be you know think twice. So I I have a better understanding and better choices when register. So you can see that this one is already building with the like button. So it's already in my court in my favorite course. So after I finish showing this part, uh, let's go back to the uh, home page. So now I can whether click this arrange button, it will lead me to my course. And also I just click you know home button to my courses button. On the nav bar, it also do the same function. So in the my course page, uh, you can see that I have already chosen three courses. If I think, yeah, there's a time conflict and it's not, I don't want to choose it anymore. I will just simply click this delete button and uh, you will fetch the data from database again so you can see there's a loading button showing here so now i only have two courses yeah so that's about the arrange course function and the very last function is c professor infos so after you register so much courses you might understand uh, who is your professor you, you have an idea of who is professor of this course 
so you might have a quick look at the professors in go I get all those information from the King University website so you can see I have a three demo professor here that's uh, their research achievement and um, their names so also there's a history of King University study at like 1955 and have blah 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 stuff and students and its motto is this one okay so so we have go through the home button home page about us page register page my courses page and the last one is contact us page so you might have to you have like an interesting in this can university you have to maybe you have some problems so you, when you decide to you know, send an email you don't know where to go so you click contact us here so you have the location you can call can university register office and also you can just simply send us some feedback so you can see like Gary Gary like one two three four five and email is like uh, Gary and you can type in your feedback nice you can then send the feedback okay so yeah it will show a uh, alert is that says that thank you for feedback feedback so now you can log out you click the log out yeah you log out that's a quick demo for our project that's how we are done right now okay so let's go back to the PowerPoint so now I will introduce the framework and the front end, the back end, how it was construct. So about the front end, we decided to use the React and Bootstrap. Yeah, Bootstrap is a framework that is created by the Twitter. It is very, very useful, simple, you know, easy to use. Uh, it can also like make your website, you know, fitting even if you use your mobile application because you know nowadays people more and more people are using like their mobile phone to visit your you know website because when i use the my mobile phone to visit our king website you know it will just give you a desktop you know view it didn't fit your cell phone it didn't change the view of the, the website so it is very painful for me to use when when i just use my mobile phone to you know visit this website but when i use bootstrap and react these two framework allowed me my website to be like uh, flexible for example like uh, if i go to this exam here if if i change the this this one to you know maybe like iphone x you can see that uh, all the thing is rearranged you know those button here uh, on the nav bar they will all just collapse into this location you know in this place they they will collapse into the new button so and you you can also see that the pages all re rearranged so it will not feel so painful to use when you are using the mobile phone to visit our, our website and also the let's talk about the react framework it's a uh, react framework can help you to design your website you know more uh, easily and they do achieve uh, our requirement okay so let's talk about the bad backend so we decided to change our backend servers to firebase because previously they are using the spring um, fire framework because now our teammates know spring so I changed my I changed the project the backend server to Firebase. Firebase is a mobile and web application development platform divided divided by developed by Google. So this framework can really help you to design a website that have the low limit and low sorry low requirements on the backend server. It is very easy to use when you don't have that much you know requirements on your backend server so let me show let me show you the firebase we are using uh, so that's the firebase we are using right now 
you can see there's authentications and you know they have uh, two accounts to log in so the database is here and there's some storage uh, those storage is different from the database if you want to fetch some uh, image maybe like in the database you have to create a URL link uh, in this store, uh, storage and also it also prof provide you an option to hosting but I'm not really uploading no um, you know set this website online so we didn't do that part yet okay so a lot of you know backend a lot, a lot of you know project is using this technology as its backend service let me quickly show you some of those examples the New York Times newspaper Dolingo help you to learn Spanish and other foreign language Alibaba also Lyft uh, you can call your taxi and also there are so many you know applications are using this technology right now so let's talk about the last part is the backend database so I, I'm using uh, we are using the database it's called Firestore it's just the original database come with the Google Firebase uh, so the the Firebase is called the BA AS is called backend as a service it's just like they combine the backend server server and backend database into one thing it is very easy to use when you have limited time but you want to make a project online and that's the pros so the con is that you, you don't have a lot of you know uh, decision to build your own like backend um, because previously I built a project is used to react and the backend is uh, is is designed by uh, I don't know, let's just talk about this project okay so previously I have another project I can fully control the uh, backend server when you send a request uh, from the client whether it's a get request or post request or delete request or you know uh, you can write the detail of how the server is going to handle in those requests you know by yourself uh, but the, if you use the firebase as the backend server you don't have that much control on that but it's very quick and it's full-fledged you don't have to there's no uh, there's just simply probably no bugs they were not going to have bugs when your um, when when your project is running on the backend so it's full-fledged, well-developed, no bugs, easy to use, but you don't have that much control on your backend server. You cannot, you know, build it uh, as you want. Uh, but they already have the basic function that you might have to, you know, um, the function that you require. Okay, so that's pretty much uh, everything about how our project is right now. Thank you for listening and thank you for your patience. Uh, that's it. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm Sawyer, and I will introduce you the important features in the future development and current problems of the system we have. As you can see in the previous part, my partners introduced you. We had some basic functions of the register system done. The following features are what we want to implement in the future for students and teachers. The first one is adding course section list, and the second one is visualizing the course schedule. For adding course section list, you will find that for our current system, we list every course on the page of search results. In the future, we hope to develop a more advanced search for courses and a more structural view of search results.
here we give a user interface sample here. You can search the course by either the course subject, the course number, or the course title. For visualizing the course schedule while registering for courses. When we register for courses, we may encounter a problem that the system would not tell you that your courses have time conflicts until you, you finish submitting courses and been waiting for a really long time. We hope to improve the user experience from this perspective. We also give a user interface sample here. When you add a course, it would appear in the status or pending in the task bar at the bottom right, and you can see the course time in the schedule. If any of the current courses have time conflicts with this course, it would warn you immediately, and you would not be able to add it, and with still time. However, there is always a gap between idea and reality. Our system still have some problems. The first problem is that the system cannot support numbers of users with a very low minimum speech interval. If the system features too many times in a short time period, feature calls may be shortened. In such cases, the Firebase SDK would throw a feature certain error. The second problem is that the system does not give the detailed course description to help students know in the courses. More information should be shown to help students decide whether they should take the course or not and the system may still have important problems we did not find, but here is the end of my part. Thank you for listening.